Jesse brought back a girl with Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. You a friend of Jesse's? Don't take this personally, Bird, but I gotta get out of here. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at me. Good birdie. Looks like something's going on down this ladder. Hi, birdie. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chakra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chathra. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Who's Jessie? That big blue oligle you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose speaks, cause leaks. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds, 
to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, Chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Don't the birds tend the nests? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Careful. Ah! I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase, honestly. I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off with her head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard, the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about. Them. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No! Ah my work. I'm Mag... Mm, McGee. 
Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this Lightbeard worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these apes. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the Feather Vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoopsie birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Those don't look like jet. Wanna give me a lift? No? Say! That's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh... I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. These things are so big, they won't even stay on my feet. Those shoes for an elephant? Good to see you again. I can't get them to stay on my feet.
That is one heavy looking egg. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hi. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Stay light. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. Hi. Hi. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast too, just today in fact. Oh really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... what? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. You didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just... Kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. 
Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Maybe a nice pair of comfortable shoes would help? Don't need them. Nowhere to go. I need to use a ladder to get up there. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. I don't think she'll find that an adequate replacement for her missing egg. Sorry, just passing through. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low-hanging branch. Not get any worse. Hey, what? What the? Ah! Oh, hey, Vera. Would you mind dropping me off at the arcade? them to stay on my feet. That way to the giant fruit tree. This looks like a fountain, but it's flat. Much lighter that way. That's the way to Harmony and his beard. That's the way to the nesting grounds. Hi, Birdie. Hi. Hey, welcome back. That is one heavy looking egg. Knock it off! Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh! That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird! This is all your fault! What do you birds do for fun around here? Wanna give me a lift? No?
Hi. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are eggs. Well, I'll leave you alone. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Well... You a friend of Jesse's? Well, I'll see you two later. Well, I'll... Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Hey, think you could make me some cloud shoes that were more my size? Sure. Come back in three weeks. Three weeks? Four, if someone makes me drop my knife again. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Watch your step. Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low hanging branch. Those are the biggest peaches I've ever seen. That fruit looks pretty tasty. Is this thing heavy? Now, let me explain. I didn't take... Oh, hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything, really. I don't want to disturb the mother-child reunion. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on.
please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. Fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryland forever. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Maryloft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that, but no. Everyone would leave? What? No! I could go kill Malchathra? What an offensive idea. No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoops of Birdie network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment impossible. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. Why do you have laces and a big bow in your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Or for there. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. are so big they won't even stay on my feet.
Give me some fruit. Dang. Give me dang. them, even though they're too big for me. Hmm, firm and pungent. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hey, Father. Father. How's your head? Oh, I'm used to it. Heavy things fall from Brother Lightbeard's cloud sometimes. He says it's part of my training. I'll let you get back to work. Stay light. some delicious fruit at least I think it's delicious could be poisonous anyway free fruit I don't think fruit would help there I don't think fruit would help there I don't need a fruit-scented ladder. Carl was right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. Big deal, bird. Like, I even need hooks now. Aha! Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your comeuppance. On second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Um, hang on. Before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limits. Hmm. Million pounds per square inch in buoyancy. Hey, Father. For third. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Uh, last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. I'll let you... Bombs away! Hang on. 
Don't move. Arms? Uh? It's happening! They're coming! 